channel trouble free in this video we are going to see what is validation testing and in the subject of software engineering like in the previous video i already gave you an introduction to validation testing right i just gave you an overview of what validation testing is in this video let's see it in more detail and let's try to understand this with an example also okay so first this validation testing is usually done after the unit testing and integration testing is done so first step is unit testing then you do the integration testing then you do validation and then you do system testing right so after unit testing and integration testing are done then you will come to the validation testing so what you will do here is in integration testing what you will do you will combine all the modules right whether in bottom up approach or top down approach whatever approach you will follow and you will combine all the modules so whatever modules you have combined or whatever modules you have integrated that module will be tested in the validation phase okay so in unit testing what you are doing every individual unit every individual piece you are taking every small small piece you are taking and you are testing that small piece in integration what you are doing one by one one by one you are integrating everything you are combining everything and you are testing at each and every phase okay at every each and every phase of combination you are testing it in validation testing what you will be testing the entire combined unit will be tested here okay done next the software is tested if all the requirements asked by the customers are implemented or not that's what i told in the previous video also on the types of software testing video also so you'll have the validation criteria validation criteria is a doc is a uh, something information which is specified in the srs the software requirement specification document so your validation criteria is specified in that right so you will check if all the validation criteria is satisfied or not right so you'll have list of requirements basically so let's say you are able you are you are developing a student uh, management system then what could be the list of uh, things like let's say a student should be able to log in and student should be able to view their score they should be able to log their attendance okay all these things will come under that so it basically checks if all the validation criteria if all the requirements which are specified in that are satisfied or not it will check okay and a series of tests will be performed to check if all the functionalities required by the user are implemented or not right right so what all what all you have in validation criteria you will test all those things simple that's all along with checking the validation criteria it will also ensure that all the functional requirements are implemented okay and you know what functional requirements are right you want you learned about it in the requirements engineering chapter and whether the correct behavior is achieved or not like how you want your system to actually behave whether it is behaving in that way or not right that is checked this is checked this is checked and all the performance characteristics are met or not what do you mean by performance characteristics it could be any it could be speed it could be accuracy it could be precision it could be the response time okay it could be fault tolerance all these things will come under the performance characteristics whether so let's say you wanted the website to load within 2 milliseconds whether it is loading within 2 milliseconds or not and you want the website to be 99% accurate whether you have achieved this accuracy or not okay and when you ask some question you want the response within 5 seconds whether you are getting the response within that 5 seconds of time or not right all these things will be checked in this performance characteristics this will also be checked in the validation testing phase itself okay next whether everything is documented or not if there is anything that needs documentation either for the customers or either for any of the teams or for anybody what all documentation is required whether everything is written or not that will be checked in the validation testing okay and fifth one is if all the non functional requirements are also implemented or not what do you mean by non functional requirements like usability okay or uh, robustness whatever uh, whether all these things are implemented or not also will be checked okay and sorry guys and at the end you will be creating a deficiency list okay you will be creating a deficiency list at the end what this deficiency list will have is what is not implemented what things are still pending okay 
the name deficiency itself says right what things are still pending will be make made a note in this deficiency list so that you can again uh, validate this list with the customer you can show it to the customer so we have tested the initial stage of the application and these are the things which are not implemented so do you think only these or are there any things that you want to add or is there anything that you want to remove you can in talk to the customer and the, pro and the entire cycle again you will implement those features if the customer wanted any external any additional features you will again implement those features and then you will again do the testing again this entire cycle will continue until the entire uh, all the requirements are completely satisfied this entire cycle will keep on continuing this is what is will be done in the validation testing okay simple whether everything is perfectly in place or not that will be tested in the validation testing got it so yeah that's all for this video guys um yeah if you have any questions let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to answer all your questions for sure and yeah let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic thanks for watching the video till